and I'm coming to you here in my truck today. I got a Ford F-150, and I like it. Yeah, I'm a redneck. I always have been, but his rednecks were formed. Many years, I was a racist, and I didn't like blacks. I used to call me N-word and whatnot. And now uh, I come a point and realize there's some personal experiences. White people are racist. Not all of them. But white culture is. Our white country is. Our nation is. Our American culture is full of white supremacy. And we live in a white supremacist culture that caters to white people. Everything from the media to education to art to culture to politics is whitewashed. What is not whitewashed as far as the status quo, as far as the dominant culture, everything's whitewashed. This country was built for white people. And it's time us Americans, us white Americans, came to terms with that and realized that we're benefiting from that. We created slavery. We created a culture and a system of white supremacy that has benefited us for 400 years. You think maybe it's about time we stop being lazy as white people and take some fucking responsibility. I can tell you as an ex-redneck, as an ex-racist, now I'm still a redneck. I boat, fish, hunt, whatever the fuck I want to do. I drink a beer, I eat too much pork, barbecue, you can tell looking at me. But my point is, and yeah, y'all can call me fat. I don't give a damn. I'm going to have, always have a lot of haters. I always have. But there's a new South, new America, that's called white racial responsibility. And it's time we all took some, y'all. So let's take a little bit of white racial responsibility. Let's start by standing up against it. Let's recognize that in every American institution, education, financial, health care, justice, for God's sake, it's injustice, in the police departments and our police officers, many of them. And when I talk, I'm not talking about all. I ain't saying all white people are bad. I'm saying we've got an evil called white supremacy in this damn culture. Stop being defensive. Get off your fucking ass and do something about it. Speak up. Don't ever listen. Don't ever, ever ignore racism. If you hear something racist, fucking stand up as a white American. Take some fucking responsibility. It's the inaction that has always destroyed other peoples and other nations. It's the inaction. It's the indifference. It's that damn, oh well, it'll take care of itself attitude. Oh, I don't see color. By God, you better fucking see color. If you don't see color, then how the fuck you gonna help it? How you gonna fix it? Our system sees color. Our culture sees color. We're indoctrinated to see colors. Don't tell me you can't fucking see color. Motherfucker, see color. See the black experience. See the brown experience. See what we did to Native Americans. See what colonization did. Look at what the fuck what the Crusades did. Get educated. Open a fucking book. Read, watch a fucking video. Watch Roots again. <laughs> watch Malcolm X. Do something. Think outside of the fucking white box. Black people live it every fucking day. Brown people live it every fucking day. Think beyond your own fucking experience. Think beyond your own self. Imagine the privileges that you have just because of your fucking skin. I ain't saying you ain't suffered. We all suffer. Stop being defensive. What I'm saying is, is that we get certain privileges. We're not harassed by the police. Okay? We're not denied a house loan or denied to live in a neighborhood. We're not uncomfortable living in rural America. I'm not uncomfortable living in rural America, but I tell you what, a lot of black people don't even want to fucking drive through where I live. Why? Racist. We're fucking racist. So I'm not saying why people are bad. Stop being defensive. I'm saying take some fucking responsibility. All people are equal. God made us that way. Well, let's knock this fucking supremacy out of our fucking country. So I'm just saying, white America, wake up. Look in the fucking racial mirror 
and look at what we have done. Look at how we benefit. And let's do something about it. Let's speak up. Let's vote. Let's create legislation and policies to fight against this shit. Let's make things fair and equal. Let's take some responsibility and never, ever, ever ignore any form of racism that you see or experience or witness. Always speak up and act up. Please. Thank you.